Some people seem to think cycling is not possible in winter conditions. It is, and many people do cycle in winter, especially in cities with a good winter maintenance. Tervetuloa Ouluun. Welcome to Oulu in Finland, a city only 170 kilometers south of the Arctic Circle, where the all-year average modal share of cycling is 22%, where children cycle to school even when it is minus 20 degrees Celsius in the morning. Oulu is a growing city of 210,000 people, the fifth largest in the country. The so-called capital of northern Finland makes it possible for people to cycle all year round. Founded in 1605, the city centre still has some older buildings, as well as more modern ones. Most of the city's expansion took place after 1960, because Oulu has had a bicycle master plan since 1971, most of those expansions have separate cycleways, or rather, a completely separate cycling network, of over 950 kilometers of cycleways. Oulu does have a lot of car traffic, but cycling can safely take place, thanks to the excellent winter maintenance of those protected cycleways. How Oulu became a year-round cycling city was the theme of a winter cycling masterclass organized by the Finnish Cycling Embassy in this building of the city of Oulu in February 2023. Nine participants from five different countries were informed by Pekka Takkola and Harri Varela. But since it is best to experience winter cycling on a bicycle, the delegates then went out for an over four-hour-long guided tour at minus 15 degrees Celsius. The tour, mostly on the highest class of winter maintenance, but also on the standard type, took the masterclass participants all around Oulu. An important stop was at the Metsokanga school, where up to 1300 students between the ages of 7 and 18 get educated. Welcome. The parked bicycles around the different buildings of the school were already telling. But when the children started to return home, it became even more apparent that it really is possible to cycle to school in true winter conditions. Another highlight of the first day was riding on the ice of the Baltic Sea, or rather, the Gulf of Bothnia, which offers a shortcut for walking and cycling between Oulu's airport and the city center in winter. Oulu monitors the conditions in weather stations scattered around the city. With a laser ray, the stations yeah. also oh. measure the thickness of the snow yeah. layer on the cycle path. That's, that's the laser that is measuring the snow depth. Over there. Once it turned dark, it was possible to see the traffic sign projectors at work, which project images on the snow surface. Since it is dark up to 22 hours in winter in Oulu, that is not a luxury. Finland introduced a new traffic sign for a raised bicycle crossing in 2020, an alternative to the more common yield sign that can be used on a crossing that isn't raised. The weather and the conditions of the infrastructure on the second day of the masterclass were completely different, but still, people in a mobility scooter and those pushing a baby carriage could go about their normal business. The constant snowing made it possible to see how the operators of the snow plows do their job. One driver was kind enough to stop and answer questions. His vehicle was thoroughly examined and every little detail was photographed. Cycling is easy on such a perfect layer of snow, created by these carefully positioned teeth on the snow blade. And then there was a demonstration at speed. A snowball had rolled back onto the cycleway, but Pekka kicked it out of the way. It is very clear where the bicycle superhighways turn into a normal cycleway. The difference in width is considerable. The delegates then headed back to town, while raising the numbers on this bicycle counter, to catch a train to Helsinki, where the final day of the masterclass took place. The conditions in Helsinki were quite different due to a different climate and city type. 
Anthony Desnick, executive director of the Finnish Cycling Embassy, opened that third day. And then Oskari Kaupinmäki, Helsinki cycling coordinator, explained that he is determined to improve the cycling conditions by closing gaps in the cycling network and by working on the complete overhaul of the winter maintenance. In his words, we're well on our way, but we're not quite there yet. That is indeed visible in the streets, but also in the figures presented by researcher Rikka Kalio and further explained in a presentation by Matti Koistinen, executive director of the Finnish Cyclist Federation. The other delegates then went on a cycle tour of Helsinki. Unfortunately, I had a plane to catch, so that will be for another time.